Hi Cool Crafters! The last time I checked in with you I was in the studio and I said it was time to clean. I got one table cleaned off and then I got sidetracked again. What I'm working on today is a banner and this was by invitation from the Craft and Hobby Association, the New Fabric Arts Council put out a call to designers and asked us to create banners of hope. And so the project that I want to share with you today is my banner of hope that's in progress. Let's get started. As I mentioned, my banner of hope is in progress. So I want to take you back a few steps to let you know how I got here. The guidelines for this project were that you had to have a finished banner that was no larger than eight by 12 and it had to have a two inch pocket. So I turned under the edges of the base fabric and I stitched. But that's the only sewing that I wanted to do on this project. So the next thing that I did is I went to my fabric stash and found coordinating fabrics that I liked. I wanted something very bright and very happy for this project. As I mentioned, the only thing I wanted to sew was the base of my banner. Everything else I just want to peel and stick. So I'm using my Aline's Fabric Fusion Peel and Stick Sheets. These peel and stick sheets are really easy to apply. You just remove the paper from the back and hold on to that because you will want to use that. And you lay this down on the wrong side of your fabric and give it a good press with your fingers. Use your scissors to cut away any extra fabric right up to the edge of that peel and stick sheet. And then you can use your paper cutter to cut strips of this fabric. So I'm going to measure about a half an inch and cut my strips. I cut a lot of these strips in a lot of different colors because here's the look that I wanted to create. You can see here that I've used my half inch strips and I've cut them into pieces of varying lengths. And what you do is you just peel that paper off the back, which reveals that sticky adhesive, and then you start sticking these on to the base fabric. When I was adding my strips of fabric, I cut them extra long on the edges so that they would wrap around, and then I cut more strips so that I would have a nice clean edge on the back. The next step is to decide the design. And I know that I want to do birds on my banner, so I took some of that extra paper that I had left over from the peel and stick sheets, or you could just use white typing paper, and I cut shapes because I want these to be some cute little birds. So this helps me to lay them out onto my fabric before I ever do any sort of gluing or cutting of the fabrics. This is a little bird pattern that I learned from my creative friend, Linda Peterson. She has a great video where she creates a stamp, so I'll be sure to add the link right here. The body of the bird is just a comma, and the wing that I created is just a heart, and of course just a little triangle for the beak. I'm just looking for some general placement of my birds right now. I'll keep adjusting until I have them exactly where I want them after I put my lettering in place. To create my lettering, I printed out the word hope and you can just transfer this lettering onto your peel and stick sheet, which you put onto a piece of fabric. Now keep in mind that some of these letters are going to be backwards if you don't flip them over or when you're actually creating the word on the computer, you need to flip them. But I don't have that problem with the H or the O, and so I just press really firmly so that I can create an indentation into that paper. Another way to do this is, of course, you can uh, use your pencil to create transfer paper, and you can put it face down and then transfer it onto your peel and stick sheet. So I cut each of my letters out using that technique. As I mentioned before, I take any of the backing off of these adhesive sheets. I keep adjusting until I get exactly the placement that I want. 
Because the fabric that I used for the lettering is pretty thin, I'm only going to remove a portion of the paper off the back at one time. What happens is that as you try and hold it in your hand, it can start to stretch. And so it's much easier if you just release a portion at a time in order to get these letters lined up perfectly. Once you have your letters placed down, be sure and give them a good press with your fingers. The little bird bodies are put down the same way. Now that I have all my little birdies glued down in place, I am going to use my tacky glue and glue down eyes and then my banner will be complete. My banner is going to be on display at the CHA Mega Show 2014 and then it will be given to Charity Wings for their outreach program for their charity promotional event that's also taking place this month, January 15th and 16th, 2014. After that, the whole collection of banners will be used by Charity Wings for their traveling exhibit to promote the healing art of crafting. If you'd like more information, just check the video description and I will include links so that you can learn how you can create your own banners of hope in your neighborhood. I'm Tiffany Windsor and I think it's cool to craft for hope.